since you were just very recently a Christian, right. um, what do you think atheists, especially those who've been out a while or have never been believers, uh, what do you think that they don't get that, that you are more sympathetic or empathetic to believers about? Just how complicated all this crap is. Mm. You know, that it really is complicated. Like with the clergy project, what I've, what I've enjoyed doing, and let me, let, me, let me back up and talk about one thing real quick. I love and am, I'm very proud of the title, The First Graduate of the Clergy Project. But the whole thing's a misnomer, you know, and, and it gets us into trouble sometimes because there's no program, you know, that you're, uh, there's no curriculum, there's no test. All it simply means was I, I was a non-believing minister when I came into the program, not only did I leave the ministry, but I left it public. That's, that, that's really all that that means. And there's only been a couple of us that have done that in that particular order and thus got the slang term graduate. So that's important, and the Clergy Project Board really wants to make sure that starts getting out there. <laughs> but but what, I, what I now say as I travel across the country is I don't think I'm the answer, and I know I don't have the answer, but I feel like I'm part of the question. And I feel like this is far more complicated than lifelong atheists are able to truly appreciate. You know, I've, I've been, the question that comes up is people will say, okay, well, you're up here defending this minister who doesn't believe, but is still in the ministry. Isn't that lying? Well, yep, yeah, duh. Yeah, of course. Of course it's lying. Mm-hmm. Whoever said it wasn't lying. But now we're talking about different degrees of, uh, of falsehood. Now we're talking about different degrees of deception and what is he saying versus what he's supposed to say. And you know, there's all of these complications and to what degree is lying necessary to take care of your family, to take care of your loved ones, to keep hospitalization, to keep your children in college, to pay your mortgage. So all of this gets very complicated and that's what I think, that's what I think maybe sometimes the lifelong atheist isn't able to truly appreciate. You know, they'll say things right. like, "Well, I've, I've, you know, I, I've got a, I've got a Darwin fish on my car, and nobody's ever scratched the car." Yeah, well, where do you live? <laughs> you know, right. I mean, where do you park your car on a university right. campus? Yeah, okay, that's probably true. Right. You know, so the second thing is is also understanding the difference in personality. Almost without exception, the person who says, "I don't get it. I don't see why you need community. I don't see why you know you need to." do anything that even resembles religion, I can almost guarantee you that is a particular personality type. And that's okay. And they should go in and do the things that that particular personality type enjoys and can contribute. But that doesn't mean everybody's going to be that way. Yeah. 